Saturday, May 12th, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, the events unfolding out in Hawaii, are they a volcanic event or geological event? Looks like a volcanic event, right? But could it be the volcanic activity as the side effect of something else? Let me explain why. The article you're looking at here from West Hawaii Today was written back in February of 2018. It was written by the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, and it's titled Volcano Watch. Slow slip event on Kilauea Volcano's south flank is expected this year. Keep in mind, this was written several weeks ago. They were expecting this part of the island to shift, and it did. I guess it does it every two and a half years like clockwork. This part of the island has a name. I did not know that. The name is the Helena Slump. It is a 5,000 cubic mile section of the Big Island of Hawaii on the south flank of the Kilauea volcano. And I guess it moves every two and a half years pretty much like clockwork. That's why they were waiting on it to move this year. It was due. If you look historically, you can see it happened back in 2015. 2012, 2010, 2007, and so on. It goes on to say, what is a slow slip event anyway? There's an article written by uh, UC Berkeley out of California. They're talking about the same thing. Basically, what they're saying is, this could turn into something much, much bigger. We're focusing on the volcano and all of the volcanic activity because it is a big deal. I mean, you've got vents opening up over here, one right after another, and they're pretty much in a straight row. As the crow flies, you can see there's actually a new one that's opened up today, fissure vent number 16. Luckily, it was out here in the middle of a forest or a big pasture, so no homes or buildings were in the line of the lava. But you can see it's still in a straight line with the other vents. So, kind of unusual, but this section of the island, I guess, could fall off into the ocean. Historically, this has happened in the past. There are debris piles down here. In fact, you can kind of see them on Google Earth. Apparently, there was a big one many years ago that created a mega tsunami because these slowly, over time, break off and fall into the ocean. Sometimes in big chunks, sometimes in small chunks, creating underwater landslides. And again, the name for that section of the island is called the Helena Slump. Goes on to say, if we read the article, there's several here. I'll post all of these down in the description box below. This year, when it moved, it moved by two feet. You're looking at a GPS map that was put out by HVO, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, and it shows May 4th, 2018, that slip, that slow slip that they're talking about moved two feet. It could go further. But here's the thing. Over the course of many years, on a two and a half year uh, cycle, it moves, like one year it moved 11 feet, two feet this year, one of these days, it could completely go. And when it does, it has the potential to create a mega tsunami. Let me read what it says here. And this is from a university out of California. Um, goes on to say, this type of motion is not new. It actually has a name. It's called the Helena Slump. During the last strong quake in Hawaii, a magnitude 7.2, on November 29, 1975, this slump slid toward the ocean by 11 feet. Another trembler, a 7.9, uh, back in 1868, caused the slump to move as well, resulting in a tsunami with a maximum wave height of 60 feet. With all respect for the people who are being affected by the current eruption, the way Kilauea lava comes to the surface is rather tame. It crawls slowly along the ground, and one can easily outpace the lava, you know, just with a leisurely walk. In this sense, the ongoing eruption is a slowly developing emergency. 
which gives people enough time to react and take shelter. A complete failure of the cliff at the southern side of Hawaii along the extensional Halina Fault system, however, would generate a huge sudden disaster. It is estimated that about 10% of the island's total volume could be affected by the collapse. The huge slide could generate a magnitude 9.0 earthquake, which is comparable to the largest earthquakes ever measured on Earth. It would also generate a mega tsunami, with an estimated wave of more than 1,000 feet throughout the islands. Geological records show about 110,000 years ago, long before the adventurous Polynesian seafarers had reached the island chain, Hawaii was rocked by such a slump and engulfed in the resulting huge tsunami. And they also found evidence of this tsunami along the west coast of the United States. So what they call it here from the UC Berkeley um, report is the slow slip or slow emergency of this uh, Helena slump. That's what they call this. And eventually it's going to move enough to where it is going to slide off into the ocean quite dramatically. History shows us that it's done it before. And what's interesting is they were waiting on it to move. They did a, an article about it several weeks ago. I don't think they were expecting it to move this much because when it moved, it moved two feet. After it moved, after the earthquake, the lava disappeared from the Kilauea summit and it's still gone. And one thing you have to keep in mind, let me show you a map here that's got some measurements on it. Mauna Loa is the larger volcano here next to Kilauea. I think Mauna Kea is the biggest at 17, I'm sorry, 13,796. Mauna Loa is 13,677. So they're both about the same height, but those are the two biggest. Kilauea is 4,000 feet at the summit, right? So, here's the thing. If we're looking at the summit and we're looking down in the summit, lava used to be at the top, right up here. You could come here on any given day and look at this webcam. And this is the thermal HD view. And you could see lava up here and it may fluctuate, you know, a few feet, but nothing like now. I mean, it's disappeared at a, a thousand feet. But, like on this map here, the summit is 4,000 feet. So it's got a long way to go. If it gets all the way down to the water table, that's when we could see steam explosions. But in order for it to get down that low, I mean, it's got to go a long, long way. That's a big event for it to drop that far. Remember, the summit's over 4,000 feet. What we're looking at now is a thousand foot drop and they don't know how low it's gone. They're comparing this to a 1924 event where the lava dropped below the water table. So it had to have gone several thousand feet down the summit. Went below the water table, allowed water to get into the conduit where the lava is at and it created big explosions that threw rocks all directions. Um, here's an example of the 1924 ejecta. This is a map showing just how far some of that stuff was thrown. Very large pieces, in fact. So what happens basically is this, in a nutshell. The inner walls of this uh, summit fall. They collapse down into the bottom. However far down it is, they don't know. And if it creates a seal, so to speak, to where um, it creates pressure, then eventually that pressure wins and it hurls these rocks that fall from the wall, the inner wall of this uh, shaft, hurls them out in all directions. Sometimes up to, you know, several thousand feet into the air. So that's what they're kind of expecting that to occur. But if this shifted and is continuing to shift, there could be yet another very large earthquake. And not only that, this has the potential of going all the way off into the ocean, creating a mega tsunami with a wave of up to a thousand feet high. 
it's happened before. So I think that's why they're they're not really talking about the geological aspects of the event that's going on out here. They're sticking to the volcano. All eyes are on the volcano. And in fact, what I've done here at the website, uh, MrMBB333.com, you can find the link below in the description box. I've created, actually I just uh, reconfigured an already existing tab over here on the left hand side. You'll see where it says Hawaii Update Vid. If you click on that, I've linked up the video from May 9th. And it's got members of the HVO, which is the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, and scientists from the USGS, geologists. They talk about the events that are unfolding at Kilauea, and they mainly just stick to the volcano. They don't talk about any of the geological um, aspects of this event. But anyway, it's a good source of information. It's um, very informative, and you can find that at the website over here under the Hawaii Update video tab. Over here on the right, you can click on this where it says SO2 and CO2. It takes you right to Hawaii. And there's the current sulfur dioxide situation. Dark purple, it's up to 298.03. That is very highly concentrated. So the link to the website is below in the description box. A lot of real-time data on here and news articles that are updated daily, sometimes multiple times a day. I'll post this article here that was written back in February. They were predicting this event. They knew it was going to happen, but they just never really know how big it's going to be. The Helena slump, you'll learn about what the Helena slump is, you know, how it's um, connected to the Kilauea volcano on the southern flank. I'll post the link to this whole area here in orange, by the way, is under a code orange warning. Um, and that's all part of the southern flank. The webcam looking down into the summit of the Kilauea volcano where there is no lava present. And keep in mind, the summit of the volcano is just over 4,000 feet. So for that to go completely down, it's got a long way to go. So if it drops 4,000 feet, then that means something over here has moved significantly because that's a lot of lava and even though we're seeing quite a bit of lava over here in these vents like they say in the video if you watch the video I just showed you at the website they even say that for that much lava to disappear from the summit there hasn't been an equal amount like one for one there hasn't been that much come out so it's going somewhere else and they don't know where so they're very puzzled right now by this whole situation but anyway, guys, all of these links you can find below in the description box. Information about the Helena slump, possible mega tsunami. Uh, it's actually quite informative. I had never heard of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.